Hello everyone, welcome back to Roses in Houston. How are you today? You may notice that I am not <coughs> in my usual spot where I um, film my roses video. <clears throat> so today in, in this video, I am kicking off and starting, starting off a new series, which I'm going to for now call it uh, midweek chat or Wednesday chat. It is something that I have been thinking about and I am excited about to share in addition to roses. So, so the roses with video and content will still be here on this channel. This is something extra that I would like to throw in for those of you who are um, maybe may share the same interest in the topic that I share on here and that is just another way for us to get to know each other as well outside uh, the love for roses and in this video as you can see I have weeds all over the place and of course weeds are not something that I love as I feel like they are ruining the the beauty of the yard and they are they keep coming up all the time right it is challenging to manage the garden during the summer time in texas because it is so hot and um you don't want to have a heat stroke coming out to trying to keep your yard looking nice and clean from these stubborn uh, little plants that we call weeds. However, one thing, not one, actually two, two things that I learned from, from them, which I'm going to share with you today. So first thing I learned from these weeds is they are so persistent and I'm going to take that as their um, positive qualities that we as humans can learn from. Because as most of us know, these things, they are stubborn. They will grow in the most unusual place, even in the toughest condition. They will continue to grow. They continue to thrive, they continue to spread like, oh my goodness, sometimes you wonder how you can, how they can even grow in between rocks, concrete, um, drought. So I am learning and apply that one to, to my life principle to learn to be uh, to be persistent in certain areas of life. Learn to be so resilient and do not give up no matter what life will throw my way. So that's one thing to learn. And the second qualities um, to learn from seeing these weeds uh, is that they will continue to grow and thrive so quick and i compare them to i compare these weeds to our mental clutter mental junk mental um spam mental trash which most of us accumulate or if, if we don't pay attention to like certain habits, certain things that we know that is not good for us or certain thoughts that we try to be more aware of or try to get rid of, right? So maybe last week, okay, I think I, I've got this. I noticed my, this type of thought doesn't help me at all so i'm going to get rid of them but the next thing i know is that then the next week comes 
I have this thought and habit again. So it is just like these weeds. They will continue to come up to the surface from time to time if we are not paying attention. And as soon as we pay attention, we have to go in and do the mental cleaning and pulling them at the root again in order to um, get rid of them. And maybe a month down the road, some new habits or new type of weeds will pop up from the soil that requires us to have to go back and clean that uh, mental clutter again. So this is something that is uh, on an ongoing basis, not, not um, something that we get rid of all at once and we're good for the rest of life, right? I mean, how ideal that would be, we don't have to pull weeds ever again. And I have heard from so many people and family members as far as their methods, their ways of dealing, managing weeds. I have heard people try all different ways, using weed killers, using um, organic type, using cardboard which I use in fabric to lay it out to suppress them. All kinds of weed management system known available to human beings, yet we still are, have, uh, are dealing with weeds from all the time, at least here in, in my area. But hey, if anyone knows the way to better manage weeds, let me know in the comment. I definitely would like to know. But anyhow, so those are the two things that I learned from weeds that will help me with, at least with, with my life, as far as becoming more mentally aware, mentally resilient. And maybe these videos um, will help you in some way. But by the way, pulling these weeds, sometimes, let me say that again, sometimes, because not all the time, I find it to be therapeutic because I spend a quiet time outside, which I think most of us don't have that time, that quiet time a lot these days. So to come out and be in a complete silence, or maybe you play your music, but not looking at the screen, not scrolling through social media, and just be with yourself and focus on um, removing these weeds can be really can can really help give that space, mental space, and help reduce um, anxiety and stress in in a good way, right? So let me know in the comment, how do you feel about weeds? You hate them, you like pulling them, um, how you manage them. I would love to know, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.